Hello, everyone, and welcome to my The Young and the Restless Official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Wednesday, July 3, 2024, is when The Young and the Restless recap will air in the USA. In Canada, it will show one day earlier. Our Y and R recaps are posted every weekday. Nate extends a greeting to Atra. She's the newest mobile in Geno City, as he puts it. How darned proud Audra was that she believed she was already well-known. She offers to go with him since she finds it annoying that he is drinking by himself. Nate finds it impossible to resist her and says he doesn't want to be the cause of anyone's misery, particularly hers. Chance is joined by Summer at the table. She gives him a quick thank you for getting her a drink and takes a sip. They've both had an incredible day. Summer thinks Kyle is unhinged. Though she questions why she is so devoted to him, she is unable to divulge the specifics. Chance listens and observes her digressions. When Summer learns this, she apologizes and inquires as to what's up with him. She won't believe some of the news he has for her. Lily is found stirring her coffee by Billy. Is he following her, she wonders. He's curious as to why she made such a lengthy expression and left the meeting so quickly. Just in case she forgot, he reminds her that they prevailed. Jack is incensed to learn of Kyle's relationship with Victor. He questions Victor's swift knowledge of Kyle's departure from Javit. When Kyle asks, Diane intervenes and says Victor told her, not Jack. His parents say they are just attempting to piece things together and are inquiring as to whether Victor has extended an employment offer to him at Newman. That's a fascinating thought, according to Kyle. Kyle reminds Jack of the cat that swallowed the canary. According to Jack, Diane hopes her son doesn't take things to heart. Kyle tells them that he is taking into consideration all of the positions that are available. He claims that it is none of their business what he does. As their son, they emphasize how much he means to them and how they will always watch out for him. Kyle maintains that they have no right to talk about his future business intentions. He pours himself a drink and says, they want to show concern now that they yanked his birthright out from under him. Jack suggests that it was a mistake to get sucked into Victor's web. Feeling betrayed, Kyle says his father doesn't think he can make it in the corporate world. Nate is informed by Audra that the press releases are scheduled to release at the crack of dawn. She has already leaked confidential information to her favorite business writer. He gives her props for her achievement and for escaping Tucker's grasp. She is intelligent and decent, according to Nate. That is why it is so hard to think that there are individuals in the world that are like to Tucker. Audra becomes upset and thanks him for the nice remarks. She acknowledges that she respects Tucker's drive and feels honored that he thought highly of her. That the relationship has broken pleases Audra. Nate says he notices the differences in her. She appears to be someone he has never seen before. Chance gives Summer an explanation of Chancellor Winter's split. What's the upside here, she wonders. Chance continues, telling her about the Abbott Chancellor rebranding and Billy's desire for him to take on the role of co-chief operating officer. Jack reminds Kyle that Victor Newman is the subject of their conversation. Anything else, he knows Kyle can handle himself. Victor is an expert at scheming and getting even. Diane believes Victor is working toward a hidden objective and backs Jack. Kyle questions why they can't accept that his abilities would be sufficient for Victor to give him a job offer while twisting their comments. He questions their reasoning for concluding that manipulation must be involved. In an attempt to defuse the situation, Kyle says he might have just run into Victor and brought up his job loss at Javit. Perhaps, he goes on, Victor emphasized what a bad choice his parents had made. Diane intervenes and questions whether the offer was made at that point. Victor has heard her out, and his tone about the matter raises serious concerns. It's over, Kyle. He maintains that he is not a teenager and that he is not in need of their protection. He reminds his mother that she cannot get them back now because she left when he needed her advice. Summer is thrilled about Chance's new position as Chancellor's CEO. Chance expresses happiness, but also worries that Jill doesn't agree with the split. 
That's why he's having trouble supporting it. Summer questions how the companies can be divided if Jill is opposed to it. Hearing that Billy voted differently than Jill surprises her. Chance feels that there's something off about the whole event. Lily claims that she doesn't consider it a victory. She expected there would be a unanimous vote. Lily responds that she knows Jill is worried, despite Billy's attempts to calm her. She questions whether dismantling the merger's profits, which were strong, is the best course of action. Billy says his mother will have no worries until she sees the Abbott Chancellor emblem on the building's facade. Furthermore, he adds, the vote is over, and they are proceeding. Billy notes that Lily appears anxious. He questions whether she's altered her views on anything. She acknowledges that a lot, if not everything, has changed. Chance thinks Billy is taking advantage of a bad circumstance. Summer can't help but speculate what the sad circumstances might be, but Chance assures her that he promised not to disclose. She acknowledges his reluctance, turns her attention back to Billy, and asks him what his angle is. She wonders if he isn't already the king of the hill. Chance thinks Billy isn't aware that he's motivated by mindless ambition. What Nate sees in Audra that he has never seen before is what Audra wants to know. Nate claims he has always known she is capable of greatness and has always questioned why she felt that she needed to work with Tucker. He is overjoyed that she has at last accepted reality. She regrets squandering so much time on Tucker, particularly because there was such a perceptive man standing in front of her. Nate says she should have a party to celebrate her victory. Diane bemoans the fact that Kyle is still harboring resentment toward her due to her past. She believed that they had resolved everything and moved on. Although Kyle says he now understands what a heartless person she is, he still agrees. Jack tries to stop his son there, but Kyle persists. He claims that her acts have demonstrated her true selfishness and that they have caused him to be sacked. Jack tries to stop Kyle from saying something he'll later regret once more, but he won't listen. They cannot have it both ways, he commands. They still want to order him about even if they don't want to be in charge of him. Thian begs once more, but Kyle isn't interested in hearing it. He exclaims, I'm done. To them, his future, his choices, and his business are his to make going forward, not theirs. Jack tries to comfort his wife as Kyle goes to see how Harrison is doing. Thian says that was really awful. She claims that Kyle's resentment of her is evident. Kyle is just emotional at the moment, according to Jack. Diane acknowledges his anger, but she is a dement that something needs to be done about his actions, even if it means going through it again. Jack concurs and states that even if they wanted to, they couldn't walk things back with him. Now more than ever, she worries that Kyle is having an affair with Victor. He's interested in her possible conversation with Michael regarding the connection to all of this. When Chase accepted this new position, he had high expectations. He's delighted his mother doesn't have to worry about him avoiding bullets, and he's pleased to help put an end to all the infighting. Summer is curious about the other portion. Chance questions whether he made the proper decision in all of this. He was the cool head along with Nate. It feels disorganized now, especially without Jill involved. He wonders if Billy is trying in some way to purchase his allegiance. Summer advises him to win. Furthermore, Lily is abandoning her brother at Winters and siding with Billy. She claims, Summer is taken aback by her decision. Chance gives a nod of approval. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.